Any Jin versus any Jin Hound. Look at that. This is gonna be interesting. Any time one, please. Yep, first. Uh, good two drop, honestly. Maybe I should keep it? Nah, I, I could look for even better two drops. Or maybe even Jin, let's be honest. Tusk Speaker is not that good. Uh, it's a pretty good two drop, right? How's any level? Let's be honest. How's Spider also a pretty good two drop? No, I would like to draw into another one drop. That means I can curve up perfectly well. It means I like, turn two, I can play a two drop, and then turn three, I can play another two drop and a one drop. That'd be awesome. And it means that one drop can activate a skill two to help any level. I can get to. That's pretty awesome. The pass, yeah, sure. So one drop. Jin though is pretty spicy. It's pretty good actually. Let's. Mm, I could how use house spider. I mean, developing house spider is not too bad, right? It's decent blockers force him to not even attack at all. I mean, he will still attack with blocks. this board. I guess attack with everything. It doesn't. Oh my god, he has Jin in hand. This is Giga Chad. Four damage to face on turn two. That's that's quite a lot. Mm, sure, I guess I'll pass. Maybe I top lane to one drop, please. Like uh. Uh, no, and he's not that good of a one drop. I guess this one is way better since it helps level any and props the gin ability sooner. Ah, uh, he has another one of those guys. That's a bit unlucky for me. Let's go for it then. Attack, attack. Two out of three, pretty nice. He blocks like this, I thought he would block any. But I guess that makes sense. It's two damage, right? He's blocking the. Oh, he doesn't block at all. Wow. That's a bit scary. Oh, he's gonna play Jin next turn. That's gonna be a bit scary. Yeah, a bit scary actually. Noxian Fervor, not good enough. Could go the uh, Decimata, Decimate, and go Noxian Fervor, but it's not good enough. He's waiting five mana, five, uh, two cards that remove a Jin, and his Jin not too good. This actually stung the weakest enemy and tried to kill Annie, which is also not that good. Six damage can do. It's actually five because I can I will be blocking the Power Spider, so that's that. So I guess my play here is to develop Jin and go these two drops next turn because uh, Tusk Speaker's uh, skill will activate a Jin ability to stun a unit. So that's good news. And this would also stun a unit. Ah, he also has his own Tusk Speaker. Both of us are 10 health now actually. It's pretty even. Oh my god, this guy. He's turbo leveling Jin like a boss. Because he had two, two of these one drops, it's pretty lucky for him. Sunhawk is a pretty good card. Let's play Sunhawk first. Let's stun two units off, bing bang, sure. And can play you to stun another one or can play you for more damage. We can be patient with it though. No rush, no rush. Pew! Stun, stun. Play on Jin, but Jin, he only, his Jin won't be able to level though. Um. Yeah, let's go for the aggro play. I am frightened, but Stung you, free timbers. Uh, and he's level now. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Smoke, then the fire, then the I'll stun you. Actually, maybe I should have stunned this, right? Because Jin ability will do 2 damage to all stun enemies, so I can actually kill, kill this unit off. Since this unit off, key this unit is the, the problem card, right? Since the skill actually do damage to the face. I know what I must do. Attack like this. Does it matter with the order? I have no idea. What if I just do this? So I kill this thing. What if I attack with like this, I kill these four units. Okay, sure, let's go through that play then. So three, three of these units are stun now, and I get the kill of everything. Use the damage. Do one. K, K, K. I also have uh, Noxion Fervor for next turn if I actually need to use it. Let's see what you have, man. Maybe he has a defensive Noxion Fervor. That could be a play. Yeah, yeah, it does have a defensive Noxion Fervor. Pretty good, actually. Lucky him. Pew pew. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh yeah, I forgot that this was an enemy too. Next time I could go decimate an option over to level, turn instantly in the game, but that's ah, lot cast them in the game. This genius level though. My next act will be sublime. 
Dude, I kind of want to go for the epic play. I could win the game now, but what fun would that be when I could just stun his Jin and attack with my Jin and level my Jin? This is not the right play. Anyone, who, anyone who's watching, this is not the right play. You should just go this unit, and if you respond to an auction for but then you respond to an auction will and win the game. But come on, you can't argue that Jin uh, level up is not that badass. So let's go for my Jin level up. You get to see yours, I get to see mine. Through my work, you shall transcend. Now that is what I call a level one. Yeah, so it's GG, huh? I guess I'm the better gym player. Pew. Pew pew. Good game. Uh, Elise, Katarina, Gwen, okay. Only runs one Katarina, weird but sure. Any turn 1, turn 2 is this unit. You don't wanna play you to kill off my enemy, because that's a bit annoying. Also, you will make any vulnerable to Poke Stake, right? Not Poke, uh, Wild Feast. So I'm only gonna these two cards and keep these two seems fine. That's Jin, pretty awesome card, you ask me. Maybe another 1 drop would be awesome too. Okay, that's pretty spicy. That's a bit annoying but sure. I'll play you. Maybe I'll uh, next turn. I guess I'll play you and Annie and see if he, you know, beats out an early Quietus. Maybe he uses use early Quietus okay, and not ready. predict into the Annie, right? I'll never block this. I want the skill, right? So maybe Jin will start uh, pinging one face damage. Is also pretty good. Wow! Oh my God! All the skill in my no deck, huh? I see. So come on, use Quietus. I dare you. Do it. It's a pretty good Quietus. I pull the string. It's a bit annoying. Still play Annie though. Uh, if I attack, he just blocks Annie. But I guess I gotta go for it, right? To actually try to go for it. Okay, he blocks Annie 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. I can play these two next turn. It's not too bad of an idea. I'm, I'm an aggro deck, right? I should be doing these kind of plays. It just feels wrong not picking a good trade. But I guess I still gotta go for it. It looks like he just blocked it, but at least with them. Also, these are still vulnerable to Valve Feast and stuff like that, which is also not good. Don't tell me you're not gonna block, man. You just block like this, man. It'd be hilarious if he does a block, yeah. Come, yep. Stay a Always while. block. Why take two damage for no reason? And also two any, which is kinda sad, but it is what it is. And round. Another gin, okay. That's a bit annoying, I guess I play you. One, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, it's gonna level at least. It's not possible though, I don't think so at least. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't think so at least. It's hilarious. Um, there is a lot of damage. She's also an aggro deck. Then mine, so maybe I just block like this. Um, sure. I guess I go for it. Next turn, I guess I play Jin. To try to stun some stuff. Sunhawk. Play you, play Sunhawk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sunhawk stunks this. Hmm, is it worth it? I don't think so. I don't think it's that good. Maybe going wide is the plan. Nah, nah, no, no, going wide. Man. Is the beating heart of drama. If only That's a bit annoying, but sure. I guess I just do go for this play then. Just start raining fire. Yep, he used this to block since. Oh, interesting. It's not blocking for me. Like at least uh, Gwen or the Burr. Interesting play by this part. 8 out of 12. Jin is actually pretty close to leveling. If he de I don't think he ever develop though. He most likely just open attacks next turn. If he does develop those, Sunhawk is pretty good. Gets the Sun Gwen by it. But most players just open attacks here. He doesn't. Ooh, okay. This is a pretty good Sunhawk if you ask me. A Stun Gwen, and now this is a 1 out of 3. 1, 2, okay. Next turn, Jin will actually level, which is kinda hilarious. Let's see their level up, bruh. Let's take a real close 
Interesting, you don't get to summon the spider though. Yeah. Oh, this is the right play. Uh, I guess I need a block now actually. I'm not thinking this much damage. Uh, block like this, block like this. Nah, let not let, let not die. Let let's not die to uh, knock your fur right and decimate. So this block like this seems to make sense. Um yeah, good thing I blocked there. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of damage. So I guess since I'll I'll be the developing next turn too, right? I might as well just use this to ping at least by one. And potentially use the other one to kill uh Gwen off. And since that will be the third one also stun the burn, which is awesome. Let's go for that play. It's zero mana, right? Yeah, it's zero mana. And that's a matter. Okay, pretty good. So I just kill Gwen. Guaranteed the uh, Gwen kill is way better. Because like somehow if, if this is not lethal, I might as well just kill Gwen right before he can drain or anything like that. My next act will be sublime. So here's Jin level up. Long time no see brother. Still a 3-3, which is you know, it's four, right? Let's it's still cool. Ah, oh, that's a bit painful, sure. Uh I guess I open attack, right? Oh wait, I don't take care of the attack because I use the stone suit spell. I pass back priority back to him again. Double knock shuffle will win some again. I'll just do this and yeah, this is egg damage. Because this will no, this is not good enough. I need to actually take these units. Yeah, let's go for it. Because if I attack like this, only use four damage to the Nexus. It's not gonna. Happen. So he most likely is gonna use knock shuffle to win the game. Too. If he has it, if he doesn't, then that's a lot of skills. He's gonna rain fire on top. Yeah, look at that, man. Jin for the win. Dude, pew pew pew, GG. I haven't seen Jin level leveling in a long time. That was fun. Z Hagrum. Okay, femoral matchup. You could live steal with dragon and bush, which is not that good. A one drop, a gin is always a keep, I think. One drop and a two drop could do this damage to grow this. It's not too bad of an idea. Eh, I wouldn't like to keep you though. I like to draw you, not keep you. It makes my hand more bricky. Not a one drop, actually. Let's see what he does here. If, he, if I draw into another drawn drop with like two health and three attack, then I'll play one drop, one drop, the one drop. Because turn two, he'll play the two cost. 2-3 that buffs ephemeral by 1-1 one, one, and have a perfect blocker to like a weaker 1 drops like a 1 drop 2-1 that deals 1 damage to Nexus that's I'm not gonna summon that I'll pass okay sure I'll play uh, Quietus though uh yeah Quietus hmm 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 I guess I play this it's not it's out of Quietus range so let's see what he does I can end round Another Jin, wow, okay. I guess I'll play the then distance if I did not draw into a one drop. Just play on curve and it has a uh, six attack. He needs to play like defensive, but he he's a thermal deck, most likely he doesn't have any blockers. He plays that though. I don't think he block that. Yep he doesn't. Also our quietest range, right? So you can just quietus them. If you play the bird he might quietus, which is not that good. I see a uh, Shadow House, I think of Quietus. That's fine. I guess I'll play you and the bird and turn off the gym and start pew pew pew, if you know what I mean. It's pretty uh, a pretty strong board. That's fine. Play the bird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Eleven. Okay. Honestly, don't think I have a block here. Apart from the elusive units. Yeah, I don't think I actually block. Basically, speed run, right? See who can kill, the, kill each other first. Yes, Dragon Ambush next turn, that's a pretty good curve. Because turn 4, he steals 1 bank mana. He just ah, quite this. So, I guess he can Dragon Ambush next turn, which is good news, I guess. And I can play Jin, the type of a unit. It's pretty not, not that bad. I'm not gonna play you. It's not mana efficient. Play Jin is way better. And this, I guess, could do 1 damage to the elusive unit next turn if he doesn't. That's fine. Let's get some buff though. If I play Block of Jin, he might have uh, the freaking what the? It's the uh, wall piece, so let's just block like this. And full board attack. 
sure. And slime of daily is a good So I can use you to deal more damage to you and do more damage to a potential Z next turn or something like that. The next time he doesn't develop, I can also use you to stun a unit, which is not too bad too. That's fine. Maybe double wall piece legit, huh? Surprisingly, did not block with his elusive unit though. Since he's gonna die anyway, won't put you one to block with him. But I won't judge. Huge. That's a shock. Is that next turn could be annoying. Or any unit. But maybe this could help me with a stun, right? Oh, another unit to develop too. That's pretty strong. It doesn't do anything. I guess I pass. If I play House Spider, this is Daybreaker by the end, which is not that good. So let's just pass here, actually. Noxia Field will face damage, so maybe attack and deal decimate damage and then Noxia Field. It's not too bad. Okay, sure. Eventual. You could have Dragon Ambush, actually. Hecarim. Yeah. So this uh, decimate. Let's see what he does. He has 3 mana. Yep, and uh, Noxian Power. 4 damage. So, even if he did not use the equipment and evolve PC Gen, it's still not in the, uh, lead enough because it's 4 damage. So, Pew and Noxian Power. GG. Just aggro deck doing aggro stuff. Leona Kale, okay. A daybreak deck with Kale to, you know, buff up stuff in that. And that's yeah, true. Ooh, I guess I'll keep you and Morgan everything away. Double Legion Ringa. Interesting hand. Huh? Jin is always nice, but I need some other skills, right? Sunhawk is not that bad on turn 3, I guess. Attack for 3 damage for free is always okay, awesome. Did not have the 1 cost. 2-2 two, two that buffs itself when they break. Pretty unlucky for him. Also in Bandle City. Pretty weird. What is he running? Guess I'll play you. Yeah. The next turn I'll stun with Sunhawk if he does play something. To start, you know, pocking Jin's skill, right? That's fine. And pass again. That's fine too. Pass again. Resolve. I can take. Not like a block, right? These are camp block, so. Maybe another one drop would be awesome. I guess I'll play on curve, right? It's a tree drop, so let's play a tree drop. I have like one, two, three stuns. Imagine I had Yasuo on the be hilarious. Gonna. Yeah, a bit annoying, but sure. I guess I'll just take the. Um, not good trade, but it is what it is. 2 6 damage to face, which is not that bad. And round here. I guess turn 4 I can play Jin, it's not too bad of an idea. And then next turn I can play Sunhawk, Stage Hand, and Annie. Sure. And Jin, Jin might actually stun another unit if he survives. I will not block this. I can block this, but you know, Jin will be then vulnerable to Poke Stake, which is not that good. So I'll play you, Daybreak Stun. Jin is now 2 out of 3. Another skill will prop him to stun again, which is awesome. So play Leona here, I dare you. Yep, so they break three levels. That's fine. Uh, it, it is a bit Sun annoying that it did bang my gen, but sure. Could be way worse, let's be honest. So let's do this. I stung Leona. I now Jin ability to pop off and stun somehow. Pretty You're nice if you ask me. Awaits. So I stung two units. This is still blockable, but I think it's enough. Okay, got this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Still exactly Lito. You need to at least do something like a poke stake or, or something. Because this is Lito, right? So, he most likely just blocks this, so yeah, this is exactly 10 damage. He needs to block this. He will block this, right? Most likely. And this is still exactly 10 damage. Yep, GG. Even if it's not, I could still just play this and do 1 damage also. In the next one, so yeah, look at that. Just stung, stung, stung. It works sometimes. You have been a marvelous audience. Mm -hmm.